What's up guys and girls? It's good to see you this evening. It's 1030 here in Florida. Hopefully I can get this video out to you before you are in bed. I just want to make sure that you know and I know that it's not your fault that your business is almost shut down because you believe them for the grant. It's mainly because the government imposed business closures and stay at home orders on the American people and told you'd get $10,000 if you abided by the rules and now you haven't gotten that 10 grand as far as going in for a loan that you have have received or not and now as far as going into a four times loan that you most people are not receiving uh, I have a problem with that the biggest problem right now that um, the small businesses are having uh, oh first of all like subscribe and thanks for watching the biggest problem right now that the small businesses are having is getting any money at all uh, it doesn't matter what color you are uh, yet alone if they started to impose regulations on it you got to be a certain color or you have to be live in a certain area or you have to have uh, served in the military even any anything that has to do with that does not have to do with are you a bit are you a business are you a legitimate bit American business uh, that should be the only um, requirement that is needed for you as an American taxpayer to receive funds that are allocated from the government um, well we have some lawsuits going on right now and it's starting to get hot and heavy it's starting to get uh, multinational media attention Fox News is on it epic news and I believe the Washington Journal and uh, we should be getting something out from the Wall Street Journal as well we know the Patrick Terpster story that went went well here in Tampa we had the Fox News story that had a couple of those going on for eight on your side I want to thank you guys on NBC as well um, so, so we're starting to get the coverage that we need to let the people know that there's a problem I want to ask you now if you think that there's a problem with with what we're seeing here, let me get out of the way, with the uh, briefing with the White House and economic update uh, meeting that just took place that our friend Robert Dunham was just at and he kind of get kicked off after he asked a hard question. Um, these are the questions that normally you would not be able to ask in the, in the past that are on application. If you're running a business, these questions should not be asked and if they are asked, you should be able, you, you could probably get sued if you had this on your application. But I want to show you what they are asking as far as the White House and, and um, Isabel Guzman, as well as the um, Deputy Director of National Economic Council, Bharat Ramamardi, Ramamardi, or however you say his name. But I'm going to ask you if you are, if these questions uh, have anything to do with uh, small businesses or, or, or how you feel about these questions being asked do they make sense to be asked a small business these questions what is your gender identity now are you male female transgender binary non-conforming uh, prefer not to respond or other does that make that makes me upset that they would ask me that it has nothing to do with my business at all and we're talking about a small business administration giving out money the government giving out money to people why are they asking these questions are they going to start cutting off the female and male and giving only transgender because this is not a, a normal thing this is not a usual thing this is off this is way off and 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 this has just happened we were we it, it's just it's happening right now um i i didn't get an invite to this the what race or ethnicity do you identify yourself so if, if i ask you if on a piece of paper if i'm, I'm reading your resume and I want to know, are you, is it black person, is it Asian, Hispanic, or Latino, or Native American, or white? What's your race? Or I, what, what does that matter? Are, are you looking for only one or the other, or not the other? Are you trying to exclude the uh, Hispanics? Are you trying to exclude the African Americans? Are you trying to ex exclude the Asians or the white people? What are you trying to do? Why are you asking this? It shouldn't matter. Small businesses, they, they, the sm SBA, should not be asking these questions neither should the white house because an american is, a, is an american and this is one thing that we were just trying to get away from all this now what is your sexual identity are you asexual bisexual gay heterosexual lesbian pansexual queer I prefer not to say why is the sba asking you this as a business owner why are they asking you that as a business owner what does that matter are they targeting a specific group uh, say there's only one percent queer or not even say that there's a 0.005 percent queer in the world and they pick out five queers and four lesbians and one asexual guy does that make sense are they trying to tilt the scales here to to make 
people look like there's more of them than they're not. I don't know what they're doing. It sounds to me like that's what they're doing. They're trying to pretend there's more of one than the other when it really even shouldn't even matter if there's more of one than the other. But these are the S Small Business Administration asking these questions. And I would like to let I would like to ask you as a small business owner, what do you think about these questions? Why do you think they're asking these questions? And if you were to to um, to ask these questions on an application for an employer, what could be done? Or if you are an employer that's racist and you're allowed to ask these questions, is that fair that you're allowed to ask these questions when you're looking at a resume saying, hmm, this one's Asian, knock them off, we don't want them, or this one's uh, African-American, I don't want African-Americans, knock them off. You should not be able to ask that. You should be able to look at their, their, um, them as a whole, as a person. Well, they've been to college, they've done this, they've gone through so much training, they have this much experience. It doesn't matter anything else. Are, you, are they lesbian? It didn't, what, what is that? What is this? What's going on here? I just need a, a, I just need a re, real answer. Don't shade your answers on the comments. Don't try to make a real pretty answer. Give me what you think is happening. I just need to, we, we, we rely on the truth here. What do you think is happening that, that the White House would literally put um, the SBA Guzman in a place, or and Guzman would allow herself to be in a place, and Barat Ramadi to, to fill out this application, and if you're going to be asked a question, now they're going to know whether this, these things about you. What's going on? Just some food for thought for the night. I want to thank you all for watching again. Like, subscribe, have a great night, and once again, somebody say, hey, I want my 10K. To the point where we've had enough, and you know what? We're at the point where we're saying no idle, Grant or loan, no idle, no peace. 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 No, I don't know peace, 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 no, I don't Stop the discrimination, where do you live? What do you look like? What do you think? What are you gonna need the money for you in the cell? You in the cell? You in the cell? No peace. Stop the discrimination.